Hi, so today we will learn how to export games from Unity into WebGL so that they can run it on the web browser. So I have an example game here and we can access this game for free from the Unity Assets Store. So to export this game, I go to File, Build Settings, select WebGL, and Build and Run. Now they ask to select a folder where I want to save the compiled files. So I'm going to create a new folder. WebGL build 2. So of course this is the second time, second take for this video. I select this folder. and Unity will begin building the project and after the build is finished it will run the game automatically in my preferred web browser and in my case Chrome. So when the building and running is complete the uh, uh, game should run automatically in your web browser and Let's see, it looks like I'm having some error. I'm going to refresh. So I'm getting this alert that says, an error occurred running the Unity content on this page. See your uh, browser's JavaScript console for more info. The error was uncaught, incorrect header check. Okay. So you can access the JavaScript console on Windows. It's Control Shift J. On Mac, maybe you can go here to Tools and Developers Tools. So more tools, Developer Tools. And this is the console. So in order to fix this error, what we can do, we can go to the location of our of our WebGL build. And let's copy that file. Paste it on the desktop. And I'm using Mongoose as uh, a way to uh, make my computer into a, a server. So I'm going to run that. And so this is these are the this is the content of my desktop. So I'm going to look for the web GL build that we have. Here it is. So now our game is able to run. Okay. So what if we want to um, get rid of this content here? I'm not particularly fond of additional content. I would prefer that my game is in full screen so it, it reaches the window height and, and width. So in order to do that, we can go directly into the HTML file of our build. So here index.html There's a few things we want to get rid of. So here we have the title, which corresponds to, to this title here and the full screen button, which is here, and the logo. So we can go ahead and delete these things. 
including this BR tag. And we can also delete this pointer to the Unity website. We can also delete this. In fact, we can also delete this wrapper around the canvas. That should look nicer. And we, so we want to make our game full full screen rather than um, this small window that 600 pixels by 960 pixels. So in order to do that, we'll delete this height and width specification and write some in, inline style. So we'll give it a position absolute left 0 pixels, top 0 pixels, min height 100%, max uh, min width of 100%, max height 100%. Max width of 100%, and height auto, width auto. So the auto indicates that when the user presses F11, for example, um, the window, the game will automatically readjust to fit the uh, min height and max height specifications. So, if you save the file, Control S, and refresh, should have a full window game. And if we press F11, our game automatically readjusts. Thanks for watching.